All right. Hi, guys. So this is going to be the second part of the reading. This is going to be the messages from spirit as relates to these situations that have occurred in this present now. So basically what the reading is about, if you haven't seen the first reading, you're going to have to look at the first reading to look at what this is about. But the first reading is about having some type of stability over something that has been destroyed with your connection. And this is coming into a place where uh, you are coming into more of an energy of, of setting intentions to love yourself more and to create something that is better from this energy of self-love. It's to have some kind of stability and harmony in your life, all right? The two situations here is that, you know, there's many options here with expressing your truth. There's a current situation there. It could be causing some type of confusion, but you're wanting to have a renewal to be in this energy of the Queen of Wands, all right? Who is courageous and confident, all right? This could also be your, uh, your person's energy too, but it's connected to burdens, all right? It's connected to many things, responsibilities, have taking on a heavy load with having a passionate new start. This could also be connected to a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, all right? So we're going to get some messages here as to what's going to happen with this truth. Um, truth, renewal, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, what is the message that needs to come through? In connection to this energy, expression, renewal, ace of fire. Thank you. Okay, so there's an energy here of patience coming through. So this patience is like um, just letting things flow. All right, this is about uh, you planting the seeds, but allowing for the manifestation to happen. All right, this patience is also connected to discontent and boredom. All right, so feeling some kind of lethargic energy, feeling like where you are, you might not be very happy. All right, having patience with that because that seed has been planted and it's going to need to take its time to grow here. Uh, it's re it's in relation to having some type of recognition and reward here. I do feel like this recognition and reward could be connected to your person or this could be in relation to spirit. All right. Uh, or this could be in relation for yourself, okay? So we're going to look at more at this. Okay. Okay. Excess, a hollow feeling, self-indulgent, materialism, selfish, imbalance, addiction, emptiness, overindulgent. <clears throat> okay. So there may be like this, there is an energy of excess, okay? Um, there is an imbalance, all right? There's an emptiness. It's connected to this discontent and boredom. Patience is needed at this time. And discontent and boredom. Okay. Eight of coins is mastery. Okay. There's an energy here. Uh, there's a strong message here to uh, work on yourself. Or they need to work on themselves. A dedication, all right, to this energy of this hollow feeling that you may be feeling, this imbalance, this discontent and boredom. You need to have patience with that. Also, what I am getting with that, there's a lot of care that you need to take with the self-love, I do feel. And this is to bring in some type of harmony and stability, recognition and reward. Okay, thank you. We have here Messenger of Cups. Uh, romantic gestures, idealist, youthful dreamer, inner voice, love offer messages, uh, romance, sensitive, um, spiritual beauty and art. Okay, so I do feel like there's a person here, all right? Um, this could be in relation to this person making some type of romantic gestures uh, to get some type of recognition and reward. Um, there may be some kind of hollow feeling, right? Or some kind of emptiness. It could be connected to some kind of addiction or some kind of imbalance here, okay? And so there's something excess, all right? This needs to be worked on in some way. Patience is needed with that. It is connected to somebody making some type of romantic gestures in some way. It could even be some kind of messages that you are receiving, um, even some kind of like, it's a youthful type, or this could even be like dreams, like having some type of dreams, like dreams and wishes, like you, like it could be like kind of like fantasy, kind of like uh, romantic, kind of like dreamy type of 
uh, energy. All right. Um, that, uh, that to be, uh, recognized or something like that to be rewarded, um, through this dreamy type of energy. All right. It could be also creating some type of hollow feeling. Just take it how it resonates there. That, uh, and discontent and boredom here, patience is needed and the dedication to the craft is being highlighted as the message from spirit here. Okay. So the second one here we have is wish, <clears throat> clinging and empowerment. So it just seems like it's going to take some time here. It does feel like um, some time is going to be needed to help to work through these tough energies. I do feel we have Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Devil. We have clinging. Okay, we have this hollow feeling coming through. So there is a lot of very challenging energy. Not only that, there's this shadow energy, but also to what I am getting here with this energy here, because the storm is unexpected storm is coming. You are going to get through this, continue to work on this. All right, whoever is going through this energy too, if this is you, you are going to get through this, continue to work on this and believe. All right, patience is needed. Okay. Um, we have here prosperity begins, all right? So they are saying that there is going to be um, there is going to be a new a start uh, of prosperity coming in, all right? Um, let's find out more. Prosperity begins. All right, please do leave a like to this reading too. Prosperity begins. Thank you. Uh, we have here foundations and achievements, see? All right, so there is going to be something good coming in here. All right, it's this foundations and achievements is going to happen. All right, it is going to take place. And we have your mental con. Oh, there's two cards. Do it again. Foundations and achievements. Prosperity begins. Okay, crown chakra. All right, there's an alignment here happening. All right, so <clears throat> there is an alignment going to be taking place here. All right. Um, there is going to be a new start here. All right. Prosperity begins. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is in the Earth plane. This is going to be some kind of new. Um, remember how we've seen that patience with the seed there? It needs to grow. Well, we have the seed here. All right. The tree is here. All right. It's going to become a tree. It's going to become very strong. All right. Prosperity begins. Prosperity is, oh my gosh, look at that. Wheel of Fortune, okay? So they are saying that there is going to be a new start, all right? There is going to be a new, uh, a, a time of expansion. This could be a moment uh, of a decisive moment even uh, for you or this person to have prosperity, all right? This could also be an energy where things are going to um, feel expansive, feel very good. There's going to be some good fortune in relation to a new start here. Foundations and achievements. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Okay, regarding this dominate, domination, excessive control, inflexible, undisciplined. So there is some kind of person here, um, excessive control, inflexible, undisciplined, absent father, father issues, lack of control, rigid. So this energy came in in the last reading. It could be connected to this reading here. So they're saying that there is going to be a new start, all right, in relation to your family, in relation to your uh, your your foundation, your family, your love life. Um, there is going to be a new start spirit is saying, okay, in relation to this um, person that has been controlling you or has been, um, uh, who has been very uh, undisciplined or inflexible with you, they have been dominating you, controlling you, all right, um, or they just, uh, it says here lack of control, all right, there could be some kind of father issues here, crown chakra. Mm. Okay, so crown chakra, this alignment is going to help with you, all right? This alignment to come into your own energy here, this is an independent energy. This has to do with, uh, this, this doesn't have to do with another person, this has to do with you. 
Okay, just take it the energy how it applies, rewards of your labor, just becoming in your power, becoming in your strength, becoming in your abundance here. Prosperity begins here, okay? This is through your own, you taking it easy, being in your uh, freedom, being in your own abundance, um, taking care of your coins, all right? Taking care of your mind, body, and spirit, all right? That's how it's going to come through with this foundation and achievement with this person who has been dominating you, okay? And um, there's going to be some type of alignment here in coming into this energy, this independent energy, rewards, rewards of your labor, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So now what I'm getting here is that this energy where you feel hollow, all right? I am getting here that spirit is saying to have patience with that, okay? And um, patience, all right, especially, I don't know, um, maybe it's um, this person here is um, making some type of gestures to you too, um, where they're wanting you to recognize it and reward them, Okay. Um, they want you to master this energy too, okay, is what I'm getting here, all right? And then here, I feel like it's a, a message, an inspirational message from Spirit saying things are going to work out for you and to work on, um, just have patience with this, work on this, things are going to work out for you, all right, through this Nine of Coins energy, all right? And this renewal is going to take place with you as the Queen of Wands, all right? So that's your reading, guys. Please do leave a like and comment. Thank you so much. And I love you so much for watching. All the best and take care.